Thank you. 
Internal malfunctions. Give me internal malfunctions. Spaceship doesn't have to get hit by nothing to crash. Some of them get internal malfunctions, like uh, when the astronauts uh, cash in their tickets. That's what we usually did it. Can I help you, brother?
That's the seat McVeigh was sitting on the night Percy Williams shot him. Don't nobody like to sit on that seat. Something the matter, brother. There's a power in that seat. The machine is fucked. Turn on our phones. Damn, did it again. They say it won't be long before all those satellites they sent up there years back gonna be crashing back down to Earth. Insides wear out up there. Things go haywire. No, man, they just get tired. You know, start out with this orbit that's real high and wide, and the next time around, get a little closer to Earth, the next time a little closer and so on, till gravity hook into it to come crashing down. You hear some noise on your roof, then you got a Sputnik sizzling in the living room. I'll get you something to drink, brother? Maybe you don't drink. Man, don't drink. What are you coming to a bar for? Man is a fugitive from a chain gang. He got a hundred to one him. Man's a white on Should be out on the street. <laughs> Damn. Well, Dell getting hard hearted since he owned this bar. Yeah, Dell ain't nobody after the chairs. He's all let the man sit. Got bloodhounds at his heels. He's got internal malfunctions, if you ask me. Damn, old Dell, look at it now. Look what it's doing. Look like that thing they hook up to the dude's heart for surgery on TV. You broke it, huh? I ain't break nothing. Damn machine up and quit on me. You sure you don't want nothing to drink, brother? I want my quarterback. You know what's on them satellites coming crashing down? Diseases. Diseases we ain't even got a name for. Space germs. Can't nothing live out in space, man. Not even germs. No atmosphere. Oh, don't get my quarterback. These ones can. Man sat on the death seat and he felt it. His seat's got a power to it. Sit down, Smokey. You'll get dizzy again. Huh? This machine has had it. Give me that quarterback, Odell. Fly, I loaned you that quarter in the first place. Hey, brother. Do you speak English? You got everything eventually, huh? Every time I come in here, I bring that whole damn folder. Birth certificate, death certificate, doctor certificate, job certificate, landlord certificate, tax form, receipts, bills. And every time I come in, the one little piece of paper I ain't got is the one they want. If I was 10 years younger, I'd take another job and be shattered a whole lot of you. Man, tell me, I got to be recertified because the regulations is changing. Ain't nothing changing. He just lost the damn form. You look at that pile on his desk. He can't even find a telephone under that pile on his desk. No way he gonna find my ADC phone. Uh, Mrs. Brown, I think... Got egg salad all down his front. Every time he talked to me, and it ain't even lunch time yet. Mrs. Brown, I'll take over your recertification if you want me. Man wanted my folder, but I wouldn't give it to him. He would have lost my whole life under that pile on that desk. Do he wash? Oh, Mrs. Brown, look, I'm, I'm out of here in a half an hour. If we're going to get this thing done, I'm going to need you. They never should have let him pass the civil service test. Man, don't wash. The man is deep. The man is crazy. Or the man is a wino. Takes one to know one, Smoke. Mm-hmm. When did we have that new sign put up? Uh, let me see. That was the day Mookie Wilson stole home. Late August. Yeah. I can't find the bill. That's because your cousin put it up, and you can't write. Don't be smart. <laughs> what you want for dinner? Uh, you mean, what do I want, or what do I want that you can cook? Uh-oh! <laughs> well, in that case, where are you taking me for dinner? Yeah, what do you want to have? You mean, what do I want, or what do I want that you can afford? Smokey, what is he doing? Diagnosis. Diagnosis. Hold me a drink, Odell. Scott, maybe it's rested up now. Give me another quarter, Odell. Just gonna bust it up some more. How about Chinese food, Dell? Think you can handle that? As long as the menu's in English. 
You know I don't need anything I can't pronounce. Oh, this man. What are you doing with that drink smoke? Diagnosis. Crazy. The man is definitely crazy. How about such a long way? You know I don't go down there. Oh, come on, Odell. Don't be that way. Baby, you name me one thing. One thing. They got below 110th Street. Then we ain't got up here. You name it. And I'll stop it in the bar. Hey, it's cooked. Hey, Sam. <laughs> what it is, brother? Right, Albert. All right. <laughs> Yeah, touch that. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Try not to break anything valuable. Come just in time, Sam. You got a client. I'm off duty. Uh-uh. Check out the guy in the corner. He was just telling. Sam's crazy. They give him attention. You don't talk, neither. What am I supposed to do? You the city, Sam. You're supposed to figure out where to put it. Men's shelter? It's a little smelly there. OK, the Hilton. You got the time? What they pay you for up there? I just make phone calls. You, you want them out, you can call the cops. Cops? Oh, man. You know the death seat when you sit down on it. It's not like I got to go drum up more business for the city, you know? What's your name? Man, don't talk, Sam. Habla español? Como se llama? Vous êtes haïtien, monsieur. Parlez-vous français? What's that he talking? Man might be Haitian. Qui êtes-vous? Sam, Haitians got diseases, man. Voodoo germs. You drank out of that glass he touched smoking. Man, ain't no Haitian. Can you talk? Nod your head, yes or no. The only people got worse disease than the Haitians is the Polynesians. This is yes. Them poor suckers got leprosy. This is no. Can you talk? You got leprosy. First thing happens, your penis drops off. You can't talk, but you can understand. Damn, damn, damn. Bust again. Why don't you get somebody here to fix this thing, Odell? Because you're the only fool that comes in here and play. You don't even use your own quarters. Well, who wants to spend your own quarters on a machine always bust halfway through the game? He's got a point of speed. After the drop off, they just don't seem yeah. to care no more. You're messing with the space shooter. You go to them Polynesian islands, you see some long faces, man. Don't never go drinking out of somebody else's glass like that, Smokey. He fixed it. The brother fixed it. Do that, man. Say, bro, how did you fix that machine? You don't go sending somebody can fix a machine like that to no being shelter. The brother got talent. Yo, Sam, you know Bobby's wife's been taking him boarders now and then. Bobby Carter's wife? Yeah, you know, big white girl. She's an ADC. She better watch her ass. What, you a cop or something? Anything work, Odell? I just don't want her to lose her benefits, that's all. She's not my case. Another thing you don't want to do is sit on no toilet over there, neither. Polynesia. Walter, my man, you a space shot. You know that? You're cruising the stratosphere. You know how to fix things? Man's got talent. Where you from, bro? Up. Up, up, uptown? South Bronx. Man, from South Bronx. They all crazy up there. What if he's dangerous, though? I mean, it's, it's just her, the kid, and Bobby's mother. Dangerous? Sam, you get to be a real pussy since you moved downtown. Come back home is all dangerous. I never lived here, Clyde. Sam's from Englewood. What's that? It's in New Jersey. You let people know that? I hear that playing those machines too much does something to your brain cells. Look here, Sam. 
I think she's charging 50 a week, room and board. You got any money? <laughs> you the city, Sam. You pay for them. Every man's got a time. Yep. Yours is drinking. Yeah. And I'm the best, too. Hey, Sam. Don't tell Bernice. Make some phone calls, Sam. Get the man a job. Why you had to give me one, too? 26, woman. She has to work. Thank you, sir. My wife calls. I have not been here. In this bar on this planet. <laughs> I'll walk him over. It's on my way to the subway. Come on. Come on, brother. Sam, before you go, you got a quarter I can borrow? Say hi to Snow White. David's cookies. <laughs> Come on. See you later, guys. If I was you, I'd throw that glass away. You're gonna have to come into the center and go through some paperwork. I hate to do this to you, but I gotta cover my ass on this one. We might be able to get you set up somewhere, but it takes a little time. Hey, brother. Come on, man. It's been a long day. I got a couple ideas on some jobs, if you can really fix things. If this doesn't pan out, I'm gonna have to take you over to the men's shelter. Hey, nice job, man. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this pajamas and shit, man. Big fish, man. Hey, thank you, man. You don't talk, huh? Well, that's good. You don't talk, you don't talk people into things. You don't talk, you don't lie. My Bobby, you know, he's off living with this other girl. He's always talking people into things. He's great at that. You know, if they had it in the Olympics, he'd win a gold medal. Bobby, Bobby. I met him up at this place, you know, and he comes up to me and he starts talking. Next thing you know, I'm big as a house with little Earl here. Bobby's sweet, you know. If he doesn't get bored with you or see something he likes better right across the street. You eat pork? Well, you don't eat it. You're out of luck tonight. Well, that's what we're having. Of course, you don't talk, so you can't complain, right? Mother's gonna come home and complain now. Like she's some kind of gourmet cook. I cut my knee. My philosophy is you got complaints, you just go eat somewhere else. You know, my mama made us clean our plates every night. And she couldn't cook worse shit. She couldn't even cook like pudding, you know. She'd cook chocolate pudding. And there'd be these lumps in it like tumors. You know, like what people with breast cancer have cut out. There were six of us. I'm from Alabama. Can you handle that? Pitcock, Alabama. I'm up here taking care of the old lady and little Earl, and he's off making time with some girl. Doesn't have any more sense than I did when I was her age. And they could see me now. Where are you from? You look like you might be from the South. No way I am going back there. Not with little Earl, I'm not. I burn my bridges. Hey, what Here. To my ceiling? You look like you might be about Bobby's size. Serves him right. He didn't even come by to pick up his stuff. You know, this stuff is going to rot your brain. Go ahead. Sometimes I feel like I have been taken for a slave up here. You know, they have them, white slaves. You know, with all the talking he did, Bobby didn't ever tell me how I couldn't go back. Not unless I give up little Earl. And that's one thing I'm not ever going to do. You know, it's the one thing Bobby gave me that he didn't take back later. I got to stay and keep little Earl safe from all that mess outside. Shoes are almost new. He didn't wear them but once or twice. Your mother's okay, you know. She's got a good heart. But she resents it because she thinks I drove Bobby away from her. 
He said he couldn't wait to get out of here. He said it was like being in jail here. And now he says that he's really in love and all this stuff. Like he doesn't remember that he said the exact same things to me when we first met. Like I got no memory. Like I got no feelings. I wonder where this hamster's from. Worse is being alone here all day. Little Earl. Yeah, but he talks just about as much as you do. And when he does, he's five years old. Sometimes I just think I'm gonna go crazy living up here like this. You eat pork? I didn't marry her for her cooking. He didn't marry me, period. <laughs> You're lucky you missed the rain. Mm. Who's that? Porter. What's his name? I don't know. He doesn't talk. They brought him over from Odell's. He's nice. What's he wearing Robert's clothes for? They fit. What's Robert going to say? He sees somebody walking around in his clothes. Bobby's got himself a new wardrobe. He don't care, Mama. <laughs> you going to work this weekend? Looks like it. Well, sit down and put your feet up. I'll bring you some dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Government officials attribute the UFO sightings to commercial air traffic and unusually clear atmosphere. If Big Girl was still living, he'd straighten that boy out fast. See, you got the TV fixed. No, it just fixed itself. Uh, girl, nothing in this world fixed itself. <laughs> Little Earl, take your nose away from that machine. Come give your grandma some sugar. Where's his tools? You need tools? Everybody needs tools. Look, just let him try it. If he doesn't fix anything, it's not gonna cost you. He doesn't have parts either. You need parts. Come on. What's it gonna hurt? You might even get some cheap repairs out of it. Hector! See, Hector! We're in a job corps. Come and get this guy. Here it is, brother. Pinball graveyard. I've been bugging Mr. Lowe to unload these turkeys for months. Mr. Lowe says you don't talk. ¿Me entiende, hermano? ¿Dónde viene? Panamá, Venezuela. El norte. De Borinquen. Coño, yo también. <ríe> Cuando te vi, yo sabía que era puertorriqueño. <ríe> qué cosa más grande, brother. ¿De qué pueblo viene? for the outlet, brother? There it is, right here, right? Pew! Hey, you gonna 
fix these machines, brother, or what? Go again. Hey, venga, quiero enseñarte algo. That's the reason why these suckers all on the blink, man. That girl, well, she can play all day on the court if she don't get bored. <laughs> Who has the machines down? I mean, she's in here todos los días like a fucking zombie. Bing bang, bing bang, bing bang, bing bang, bing bang. Totalmente loca. <laughs> hey, you must be from Carolina, Puerto Rico. That's where all the brothers come from, you know? Black Clemente, he was out of this world, man. He made it to the top without a knife or a gun. He used a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Lowe is a weasel dick motherfucker, so you watch your ass with him, okay? And if you need anything, llama Hector, huh? Hector, no más. Buena suerte, hermano. sense of history coming up. They give themselves some African sounding name. Jamoka Ali, Rashid Quadruple X. They think they're in touch with the past. Let's start up with that again. Walter messes with my game. I remember when it was history here. Go light on them cookies, Smoke. Suckers cost a fortune. They good, though. Yeah, this was where it was, Fly. Harlem was the place. Still is, Walter. Not like it was. Ain't nothing like it was. That's history, man. Don't stand still for nobody. Yeah, this is where it was, Fly. Harlem was the end of the line. I don't see nobody here going nowhere. Yeah, you hit Harlem. You had made it. Smokey remembers, don't you, Smoke? Some days I do, some days I don't. I'd rather be a cockroach on a baseboard up here than the emperor of Mississippi. I remember certain Saturday nights, I was a little boy peeking around my mama's legs. What it was, it was elegant. Almost the place. Yeah. End of the line. Have any of you seen this man? We have reason to believe he's been in here. Lots of people been in here. What's his name? Didn't he tell you? Not a man won't tell you his name when he can't talk. Where is he? Look, you all got any kind of ID? ID? Your badges, man. Badges? What badges? We don't have to show you any badges. Look, if you're dicks, you got badges. What makes you think? We're dicks. I could answer that. <laughs> well, look, if you ain't dicks, what the hell am I talking to you for then? Government. Who's government? Immigration. We have reason to believe this man is an illegal alien. So is that the fucking city? So what? Could we see your green card, mister? Green card? Man, what you talking? Green. Card. We ain't called my black ass. My people built this country, sucker. You ever been to South Carolina? Huh? 
My people built that. Can't build a state, man. Look, all I know is when they got off the boat, there wasn't nothing there. Not at shopping malls and, um, what's that shit? Miniature golf from nothing. Ask me for a green car. My people's in the revolution, Jim. How long you been here? Two dollars, ma'am. We'll be back. White folks get strange all the time. Hey, Jefe, taking lunch now, okay? How's the color fella doing in the back? Oh, I haven't heard a beep out of him. They're clever with their hands at color, but they forget things. This one forgot his tools. No management skills. Hey, Jefe, you don't know how to manage mierda, okay? English, Hector. Say, I'm like English here! How's it going in here, brother? Busy man! Hey, since you're all finished here, how's about you keep a lid on the kids while I get a bite? All you gotta do is make change. You know how to make change, don't you? Petro will be back ten minutes late as usual. They give you a good day's work for Spanish, but they got no sense of time. These things, I can wear them down. Don't make them fast enough. Playing like warp 10 on everything in here. Playing max on the difficulty scale, and still, I'm totally inside their time, you know? You know what that's like? It's like everything in the world is going slow motion, except you. Boring, right? Can't do nothing about it. You know everything that's gonna happen before it does. Can't change it. Just shoot it down when it comes. Bad enough in here. You should see what it's like at home. Do you know what I'm talking about? Just once, just once I wish it could be me going slow motion. Everything else zipping past. Hey, what are you doing?
want to see a car trick? Uptown Bay Express, the oh, really? Street next. It's a story. 59th Street next. Okay, move over. Okay, move over. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little story about Joe and the bartender. The bartender goes to Joe, you know, business has been real slow in my bar, Joe. I was wondering if you could go out and get four of your drinking buddies to come drink at my bar. I give you two bucks. Joe goes, sure, I could use the money. So Joe goes out, cut the cards. Cut the cards. Okay, I'll come for you. So Joe goes out, and Joe's gone five. He's gone ten. He's gone fifteen. He's gone twenty. He's gone 26 minutes, and he comes back huffing and a puffing, and he says, all right, Mr. Bartender, here's your four guys to drink at your bar. Bartender goes, great, Joe, there's your two bucks. So they're just sitting around the bar talking. The bartender goes, you know, Joe, these four guys, they're kind of lonely, Joe. I was wondering if you could go out and get four girls to drink with the four guys. I'll give you two more bucks. Joe goes, sure, that's easy. I got lots of girlfriends. So Joe goes out and cut the cards. That's right. Okay, I'll do it for you. So Joe goes out, and Joe's gone five. He's gone 10. He's gone 15, he's gone 17 minutes, and he comes back huffing and a puff, and he says, all right, Mr. Bartender, there's your four girls to drink with the four guys. Bartender goes, great, Joe, there's your two bucks. But Joe, it took you so long to get the girls, the guys, they left, Joe. So do me one last favor. Go out and get me four more drinking buddies. Two cases of Ace High Whiskey, change for 220s, I'll give you two more bucks the last time I'll send you out. Joe goes, sure, but I'm sick of going out. I don't want to go out anymore, so cut the cards. So Joe goes out, and this time Joe hurries back. He's gone five, he's gone 10, he's gone 15 minutes, and he comes back and he says, all right, Mr. Bartender, there's your four drinking buddies, your two cases of Ace High Whiskey and your change for 220s. Bartender goes, great, Joe, there's your two bucks. Thanks a lot. So they're just sitting around the bar talking. The bartender goes, are you a family man, Joe? He goes, I sure am. I got seven kids, four boys, three girls. Bartender goes, I got seven kids, three boys, four girls. That's great, Joe. How old are you, Joe? Well, I'm 67. My wife, she says she's 55. She's really 65. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's great, Joe. Uh, Joe, are you a gambling man? I sure am. I play at the 96 Club on 42nd Street. The other night, I won $499. My partner, he had a full house. Aces over age, which usually wins. But I said, not this time, sucker. I got a straight flush. I have another magic trick for you. you Want to see me make all the white people disappear? 59th Street, Columbus Circle, 125th Street, next. This is the Uptown A Express, going to 27. Change for the double A local across the platform. The D. On the upper level, change for the number one Broadway See? Train. What'd I tell you? Uptown A, 125th Street, next. No, no, we're not late. Look, it says here, Professor Maxwell, seminar participants only, wine and cheese. Oh, good, I'm starving. Four o'clock, there we are. Now we just gotta find the, uh... Hey, do you recognize any of this? You mean the architecture? No, no, um, the neighborhood, actually. I don't seem to remember seeing quite so many... Um, Maybe it's the back way in. I remember there was a gate, and you could see the library. Yeah, I, I don't see the library, Ed. Well, it was behind a wall. I think we're in Harlem, Ed. That's not where we want to be. No, it isn't. You, uh... You haven't been paying attention, have you, after we got out of the subway? Well, I couldn't tell you, like, where the subway entrance is or how to find it. Is that what you mean? We're lost. <laughs> We're lost in Harlem. I don't think we're gonna make that perception. No, no. Couple of beers, please. Yeah, bud. for the self-actualization conference at the university? You know where the subway is? Good, who knows? 
We're from Indiana. That's right next to Illinois. Where Chicago is. He knows that, Ed. Well, a lot of folks around here don't have a very clear picture of the Midwest. Can you, like, point in the direction of the subway? <laughs> He's right. That's where it is. <laughs> so, where are you from? I mean, I didn't want to be like Ernie Banks. I wanted to be Ernie Banks. Mr. Cub. And, and it never really dawned on me that he was black. You know. Wrist hitter. I was, you know, what? seven years old. And he was just Ernie Banks. He was my hero. All in the wrists. There weren't any black people in my town. At least I don't think there were. Mr. Cub. Eight o'clock. Jeez, will you look at that? <laughs> this is really something, huh? <laughs> Wander in here off the street. I mean, if, if people would sit down and talk like this more often. Communication. That's, right. That's what it's all about. Three blocks south, one block east, subway engines. You want the A train, downtown. Hmm? Okay, right, thanks. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's quite a grip you got there. <laughs> Give me five, brother. Thanks a million, folks! You a popular man today, brother. You know, there were two others in here earlier looking for you. Men in black. No, man, white skin, black clothes. And they were stranger than these two.
Si su estatus de extranjero ha cambiado, tiene que traer verificación como recibo de registración o entrada de refugiado condicional. Bueno, pero espera. Noreen, did a client come in while I was out? Black man, about 30 something, kind of strange, doesn't talk. No. No show. Third interview he's crapped out on this week. More for our tomb if he can do it without us. Girls and I had our first hit with this song. Hope you like it. That's how it is, brother. Cover charge is $15. All you got is five and some change here. If the boss wasn't around, I would slip you by, but he's been in my ass all night. Some other time, all right? Yo, brother, you forgot your money.
come to Babylon, brother. You got that far away look in your eye. Come out here with ten spun realizing the truth, I think. There's many a pearling out there for your brother. Don't want to lose your way. Let Virgil guide you, man. I mean, farm you on the ways of the night. Children withering away up here, brother. Worshipping the idol of capital. Lusting after the false salvation of here and now. Black brother and sister perishing up here, man. Waiting for scrap from oppressor table. <laughs> oppressor got us a house bed. Doing tricks to get reward. Well, hello there. Are you... Oppressor need a slave, him find it here. Oppressor need a haul at him find it here. Oppressor don't need here at all. Him wipe it away from the mob. You fellas want a party? All people on the street at night time, hey, brother. Give you a blow job if you One damn hole. Huh? Look at what we own. You think you can fix it? Everything Babylon Come make, on. everything you take in, it's shit Come out on. here. Hey, listen. Listen, it's a bargain. Hey, Mophead, bring your handsome friend back here. Night time is promised, brother. You make deals in the night. Pay all you got for what you can see. And every sun come up illuminate, we've been cheated again. All the people is there walking streets at night time, brother. All the people feeling. People dream, people fear, people hatred. All that eating your heart in the day. All them feeling too dangerous to show the oppressor. Come out prowling for confrontation at night time. We're killing each other on these streets, brother. Not your own, brother. Virgil don't have to inform me this. Here, brother. Take the ship back. Just for a night, take the ship back. Just for a night, take the ship home to the promised land.
Have you seen this man? No entiendo inglés. Can you say that in English? Bueno, ¿y cómo ustedes creen que yo voy a hablar con dos pendejos? Uno vestido como fucking Roy Orbison y el otro como Johnny Cash. Si ustedes quieren que yo hable con ustedes, consígame un intérprete. I think we'll have to speak with your supervisor. No entiendo. made over 30 trips back south after she escaped that first time. Now every time, she was in danger of being captured and sent back to the people who had owned her. <laughs> Men and women who had been slaves made their way with Harriet's guidance through hostile countries. Going station to station on the Underground Railroad till they reached New York. Now New York was the promised land. New York was the end of the line. Sometimes bounty hunters would trap them up north and kidnap them back into slavery. to Carter. We would like to ask you some questions. If you're looking for Bobby, I have no idea where he is. We have reason to believe that this man has been living with you. He comes and goes. Right now he's gone. Where does he work? Here and there. He fixes things. What do you want with him? Immigration. Immigration, give me a break. We had a kid overdose right downstairs last night, and you're pestering people about whether they got some piece of paper that says they're illegal? Will he be coming back tonight? You want to know what my opinion is? Just facts, ma'am. My opinion is that you people just made up this immigration scam just to keep people under your thumb. Is he coming back tonight? What am I, his mother? Wait for him, see if I care. Just don't do it in my kitchen. Ma'am, have you ever looked at his feet? What are you, sick? Gonna sit on that all night? Very funny. Look, can I get you another drink? I don't care, but the boss has been on my ass all night. Good. I'll get you another drink. Straight from the heart, get away straight from the start, get away straight from the city. Hey, yeah, yeah, get away straight from the heart, get away straight from the start, get away straight from the city. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a minute, but don't get any ideas, all right? The man that owns this club has been on my ass since I opened here, and I'm trying to keep him off of it. So if he comes by, you are my gentleman friend from Philadelphia, okay? Well, what's your name, honey? You can't talk? Well, some alibi you're gonna be. You can hear, can't you? You like my singing? Oh, well, my voice isn't what it used to be when I was with the girls, but it's got character. There you are, precious. How's my girl tonight? Mr. Price, this is Lewis. Lewis is from Philadelphia. Pleased to meet you, Lewis. Lewis doesn't talk. Well, that's so. Well, that's awful. That's just terrible. Must leave you out the conversation, huh, Lewis? Hey, look here, precious. What I found digging through the office. Must have been taken 15 years ago. Oh, look at this, Lewis. This is me and the girls. We were just kids. <laughs> you were flying high in them days. Yeah. Must have felt like it would last forever. Mm -hmm. I remember when you were working the Apollo. I had to stand in line to get a ticket. That'll happen. Yeah. Standing out in the rain a whole hour just to see my favorite singer. And now here you are. Working my club. Here I am. You know, it's funny how when one is shooting up, the other's tumbling down. It must be a law of nature. It's real funny. But there's always some point when the one shooting up and the one tumbling down is on the same level. Even if it's just for one little second. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, uh, after your last set tonight, maybe oh, you and Mr. I Price, could... Oh, Price, I'm so sorry. Lewis and I have made other plans. Well... That's just too bad, isn't it? Nice talking to you, Lewis. Flying high. In them days. I will never tumble down that way. Another drink. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Now, do you really like my singing? Really? <laughs> as long as I have been wearing these things, I still haven't gotten used to them. I like to go blind, slapping them around in bed. I'll only be a second, honey. You haven't gone to sleep on me now, have you? Look, make a noise if you're still awake, okay? <laughs> I have been out with some guys who were quiet, but this really takes it. You know, I don't do this a lot. People think because you're on tour, you're always sleeping around, but it's not true. Well, most tours it's not. When we were young and foolish and still singing in bowling alleys. <laughs> of course, that all changed when I hooked up with Rodney. Boy, you know, I hardly even think about Rodney anymore. But as bad as things got, I sure miss the girls. Now, you didn't waste any time getting comfortable, did you? Well, here I am. Still interested? <laughs> How come I like you so much? You could be anybody.
<laughs> Louis. Hey, try and stay with me, okay? I mean, let's forget about that woman that you saw on stage. It's just you and me. to go on the road with me. As long as he didn't have to carry my bags, he said. He wouldn't even let me carry them. Sometimes we'd have to wait for a half an hour for the porter to come. Rodney was like that, though. We're proud about the little things. You know, I don't know when I'm going to be back in New York, because I don't have any bookings after Atlanta. Oh. You were great in bed last night. But you're going to have to do something about them toenails. Yo, man, how about a little help? Come on, put it in the hole, man. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on, shoot it up. Come on. All right. Funny looking motherfucker, but he can shoot, can't he? How long you been up here, pal? I mean, are you a native or what? It's my first day in this precinct. My partner upstairs has been handing me all kind of horror stories. Like, you know how they're going to cook me, eat me alive up here. I don't look out what I'm doing. Uh, can't be all that bad, I figure. It's pretty damn nice to me, Harlem. You know, like, people are people, right? I mean, you put on a uniform, it's not like you're handing your status as a human being. I mean, we're here to protect and serve, right? Like it says on the L.A. cruisers on Adam 12. They never should have taken that show off the air. So, uh, what do you think? Take it easy, pal.
Adam Prescott in? Are you clients of his? We're looking for this man. Ever see him? Are you a gentleman with an agency? FBI. Immigration. We're working together on this one. I see. Okay. This is an interagency request for information form. You both have to complete this and take it to the applications receptionist. That's line seven in the central office. And I'm going to need documentation on both of you. This can be birth certificate, alien naturalization papers, draft registration, military ID card, military discharge papers. And I'll need a letter from your department heads on, on official stationery, verifying employment, and something with a picture on it. No student IDs allowed. This is Form 107G. You both have to fill this out and have it notarized. We'll come back later when Mr. Prescott is in. And I'll need social security numbers on both of you. I'm sorry, you just can't stay here. If it was just me, it would be different. But I have little Earl and the mother to think about. I have got to take care of them. I mean those guys, they just gave me the creeps. Is there anything that you need? Clothes or money or anything? Well, I hope you understand, but whatever it is that you're messed up in, I can't take the chance. It's been nice knowing you.
And he says to me, what would you call it? And I said, we're just seeing each other. And he says to me, that's a relationship. I said, Barry, call it what you want. To me, we're just seeing each other. I can't believe this guy. I have gone out with him five times, and he wants a relationship. Why? I can't believe it. I don't want to get that serious. I mean, I someday want to get married and have babies. But five times, he's cute and everything. I mean, I knew he was interested in me right away. Believe me, I knew he was interested in me. I could tell immediately. Can I help you? Do you have an appointment? You can't go in there if you don't have an appointment. Do you have something to deliver to Mr. Vance? Look, go downstairs, have them call up, and we'll get you a floor pass and we'll start from scratch, okay? <sighs> Number one is short. I mean, he can't help that, but I can't help the way I feel about that. And you know what else? He wears those shirts with the little epaulet things on the shoulders. Hey, brother, what's happening? I know our man feels. My blood ain't worth beans these days. I heard Bobby's old lady threw him out, kind of them guys been looking for him. I wonder how he's making out. Oh, the flesh is weak. The spirit finds a way. <laughs> what was that, man? I'm over Dell, hit me. <laughs> hit me. Flea flicker. Hey, now. Button hook at 10. Look at them hands. Z out in five. Bump and run. Come on. Ooh. Let them man break his feet. Where? A bar. Hey! 
Were you? How did you get in? Who sent you? Gregory sent you? You want some of this, is that what? paying you for this isn't paying you what I could. I've got an organization here. We're diversifying. We're moving in every direction. This, this is nothing. It solves some cash flow problems. Solves some problems on the books. You tell me who sent you. I'll cut you in. That's what you want, isn't it? Piece of the action? It's stupid to go for just one score. Oh, I knew it was a mistake getting involved with you people. You don't see the big picture. You just don't see.
Look, whoever you are, we can still talk. There's still time. I own real estate.